All right, just about set to go. And starting this one, Hayden Birdsong. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. And a pitch. Chris ball Taylor, one. the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Man, first pitch of the day, and the zone's already tight. And that's Two in ball. the dirt. Not ball. showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count 2 and 1. And the right-hander deals. Swings Aye. through that one out in front that time. Two balls, two strikes. Just okay. missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can Teoscar Hernandez in the box now no balls and a strike one out base is empty Pitch. That Whoa, misses. Going to count one and two. That oh. one missed. One down, base is empty. Ah. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And he deals. Swings through that. Another 0-2 count oh, oh, right here. Pitcher right. just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And nope. that just oh. misses. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. <laughs> and that one upstairs. Two out spaces empty. Two two, and it drops in. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Here's Jason Hayward. And that oh, one just awesome. missed off the outside edge. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And a pitch. And another ball. Back. 
next offering popped in the air right field and that'll do it so the Dodgers leave one and now we'll see what the Giants can do no score you're dialed into the show Back here at Oracle Park and towing the slab here, Gavin Stone. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Brett One wisely out. at the plate and takes high there. Out to short. Whips it across. Oh. And a quick out number one. Here's the Giants lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Elliot Ramos. And Book, he's the table setter for this offense. Team leader and on-base percentage. I mean, that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score, man. I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base. Easy to get those RBIs. Game after game, you know a guy like this, what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup. And now the 1 Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And he beats it. He's safe. at first with one gone and now the veteran third baseman Matt Chapman Chapman gets a piece there the pitch and a foul ball and he didn't like the call and here's the catcher Patrick Bailey there's a strike Two outs. Swung on, belted. Hayward going back. And that one's gone. He leaves the yard to right. And they grab the lead. It's 2 nothing. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run hey. into one. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Kicks and fires. Strike two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show.
Back here in San Francisco. New inning getting started. And here's the rookie center fielder, Andy Pajes. Birdsong back to work. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And one pitch into the inning, it's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now it's Gavin Lux. That one fouled off. And it's second. One ball. In the dirt, straight. but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Hard hit. Knocks it down. He decides to hold on to it, and the defense that's comes that's away with nothing. Perfect. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Rip, but it curls foul. First and second here, no outs. The shortstop takes the ball. Next offering upstairs. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pick. That one finds the zone. Two. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. At the belt and fires. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Fair ball. Here comes Pajes around third. He'll score easily. And they trail by one. A perfect example right there. That play discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. First and second, no outs. And next for L.A., Enrique Hernandez. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. Here's your one. I got one ball, one strike. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summers Gill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. ground to the right side. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. The throw to third. And he's safe at third as a run scores on the play. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. Got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Oh. 
So runners at the corners. Nobody out. Next to hit Austin Barnes. Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. The 0 1. Fastball for a strike. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. One and ball. one and two. two that one hit to right. Matos pulls it in on the run. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here comes Chris Taylor. Struck out looking his first time. Line drive. That's a fair ball inside third. Here's the throw. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he scored it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Runners at the corners here, one away. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. Nope. Just off the inside edge. Two on, one out. Towards first, and that's just foul. The one, two. That's Whoa. down and in. It's a good take. Traffic on the bases with three already across here at the top of the second. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a pitch. On the ground to first. To second. That's, that's one. Out. Return throw to first. Yeah. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Three runs for him here. And they move ahead. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers three and the Giants two. Bottom half of inning number two and digging in for San Francisco. Tyro Estrada. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. Good eye right there. One and one. The next offering misses. Two and two. And yeah, that skips into there. Side and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Stone checks over to first, and he's back. Michael Conforto will climb in. Fastball for a strike. The Dodgers leading by a run, bottom half of inning number two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Three. Called out on 
that strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Now a chance for David VR. Close, but call the ball. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Pitch. Man at first, one away. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. Nothing across here this half. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Dodgers three and the Giants two. And we're back. We got Top got half got of got the got third got inning. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Five. This guy Freddie makes Freddie. great contact. Freddie. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. Ball. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Left-hand hitter waits. Aye. And that is in for a strike. And one and one. Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still, one and two count. Up. VR under this one puts it away for the out. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Hayward stands in now and watches strike one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The center field. Andy. Two outs, base is empty. Andy Pajes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. A double and a run scored his first time up. There's a strike. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Ball that one, one misses. One ball, one strike. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Righty delivers. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Two down, nobody on. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and it's a one-two-three inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they're up three to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Luis Montos. The line of the pitch. Matos goes 5 feet 11 inches, 22 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Wouldn't chase that time. Kick 
Jack Sandios. Right through there for a strike. Well, he left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Inside just missed. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from a bat to a bat. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Right hander kicks deals. Fouls it back with two strikes. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Here comes a three two. Hey. Got him looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four, and he wasn't wrong. I and mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, it'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. So the lineup flips over, and up next for San Francisco, Brett Wisely. Rip towards third. And that quickly, two away. Up next, oh, next is Giants. Giants. The center, center field. field. Elliot. Here's Elliot Ramos. Ooh, Reached Ramos. on an infield single his first time. Come on, Giants! Tries the bare hit, and it gets by him. Save at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter so no surprise he put a great swing on it and here is Matt Chapman yep, that ball and went the out. slider just misses two outs oh he doesn't get the call ball two well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Good hitters count the 2-0. Fall off foul. That's and there's a ball. Three. Patrick Bailey would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Chop to third. Slings to first. Play made. That ends the inning. So the Giants leave one. They're down three to two. Here at Oracle Park, start of the fourth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch misses. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Singled and scored his first time. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Oh and one. Up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Oh. Awesome play there. The third base number eight. Here's Kike Hernandez. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Fastball for a strike. 
Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And that's, oh, that's off it. the inside edge. And the count is one and one. And the righty deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Dodgers down in order, and it remains a 3 2 ball game. Bottom of the fourth, now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. Stone back to work. And a foul ball. The one. Yeah, a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. On the ground to third. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Missed with a changeup, and it's 1-0. The Giants trailing by a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Good eye in that spot. The 2-2. Two -two. Strike three, got him swinging. Now one away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just the couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Tyro Estrada to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. And ball. takes low for ball one. Count one and oh. And he deals. And downstairs. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. The left Number eight. Michael. Michael. And here is Michael Conforto. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. And that's off the inside edge. One and one. That's a little bit low. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Here's a two two. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. We played four. It's the Dodgers three and the Giants two. Set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Austin Barnes. And the right hander back to work. Pulls that one foul. You know, these Dodgers, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. And the right hander deals. Way high there. And a count two and one. Out in front and foul to the left side. The pitch. Three two now. the middle to first oh. one away here in the fifth the back, the 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 so the batting order two. turns over Chris Taylor now one for two Taylor a middle infielder by trade played his college baseball at the University of Virginia One down, base is empty. Ball, ball one, one there. I got one ball, one strike. And that one fouled off. Nice. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch oh, right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Hernandez nope. stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And it's fouled away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. So a foul ball makes it one and two. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Kicks and fires. That ball misses two. the zone, and it's two and two. Two ball, two strikes. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Freeman, the next to hit, takes ball one. You know, the two out walk, got to race that and really go to work on the hitter. You got to go ahead and just let him steal if he's going to. Try to create the swing and miss and get out of this jam. And you wonder, is he in his head a little bit? Even if the base runner doesn't steal right here, what's great is that he is dividing the attention of the pitcher and may serve to give his teammate a better pitch to hit ball at the two. plate. And yeah, a curve is down and in. Back when you played. It wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? 
they are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Swing and a ball lifted in the air shallow left field. That's a base hit throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out. Now that the right pitch was in and off the plate so hard to do anything with the pitch in that location but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well pretty amazing. Jason Hayward digs in now on the ground right side throws the first in time that ends the frame no runs a hit two left last half of the fifth coming up it's the Dodgers three and the Giants two. Here in San Francisco, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton is set to get us started. Bottom five, David Vr. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Stairs and outside. Won't chase that time. That's a really good take. Presents the tying run. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now the right fielder, Luis Matos. And that one fouled off. And it's second. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one and one. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. The pitch. Just oh, misses with that one. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. Look how I'm working hard out there. Payoff pitch. Stays alive. Giants lineup. And up next for the Giants, Brett Wisely. Oh, no 
tying run in scoring position. Last half of inning number five. This one in the air. Freeman gets under it. And out number one on the grab. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Two on, one out. And digging in for San Francisco, Elliot Ramos. Not even close there. And that's ball one. Left side, and it finds its way through for a hit. In the score for third. Back even, it's 3-3. Three, three. In there, he's safe. the third baseman Matt Chapman I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound this guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year two on one out on the ground to third put the extra bases one runs in Relay throw, save, he beats it, and they lead by two. Oh, he was a little off balance, he got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Gavin Stone, done for the afternoon, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Johan Ramirez. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. One out, runner at second. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants, Patrick Bailey. He's already homered here in this one. And that's a strike. comes the one right through there for a strike two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count if you're up there at the plate you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down bounced up the middle Rojas with the throw to first two away now the designated hitter Jorge and next is the designated hitter Jorge Soler who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. Fights it off. You'll see another. Two outs with a runner at third. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. 
Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 5-3 ball game. We're back, and they make a change to start the six. The new pitcher, Jordan, Jordan. Hicks. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Andy Pappas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Andy The pitch. Pappas goes six foot one, 23 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Next nope. offering Ball upstairs. One. Swings and misses a one down below the zone. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Righty to the plate. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. He muscles that one out the opposite way. It's 5-4. That's great confidence in the power right there. Most hitters would try to hook that ball to the full side and hit it out of the park. He stayed back, let it travel, and hit it hard the other way. Up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. Yeah. Nice curveball for a strike. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Left hand batter waits. Oh, that's and the slider just misses. Movement in the bullpen, number 74, getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Miller getting loose as well. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. Lifted in the air down the left side. And it stays fair. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. There comes the throw. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. Now that's Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. There's the strike. Righty delivers. Hit in the air, center field. Ramos makes his way towards it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. Here's Kike Hernandez. That's off the inside edge. Ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Man at second. 
And he chases that one below the zone. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball still a one and two count. At the belt and fires. Hot shot to third. Chapman over to first in time. Two away. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. A triple digits. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. That misses, one and, one. and now it's even one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. With the tying run at second, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Pitch is in the dirt, and now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Kicks and deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Man on second, two down. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Score from second. It's 5 5. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Taylor in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Two outs. Just oh, missed. Right handed reliever. That one fouled off. And a pitch. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get your to second, but way too late, safe there. Going to have to buckle down and make a pitch or two to get out of this little jam he's worked himself into after the two-out hit, then that wild pitch. Good time to step off, take a deep breath. And here it comes. That one down the line. And foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. And he walked him. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. So first and second with two outs. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch, and he just misses. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Two on, two outs. And a swing and a miss. One and one. And that's two in the dirt. One strike. And that one missed by a ton. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. 
On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond, and Hernandez is out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. They get two and draw even again. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. We're all tied up, 5-5. Five, five. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. And he deals. Lifted in the air, right center field. Lux trying to get there. Corrals it. And there's one away. That's a really nice no, play, no, ranging no, back no, into no, the no, outfield for that catch. No, no, no. Those no, could be a little no, tricky, no. especially if the wind's swirling around out there. The batter will be Michael Conforto. And that one wrapped foul. Pitch misses. And the count even one and one. one. one Activity strike. in the bullpen. Shohei Otani, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. That one missed. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Hard hit to third. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. Now back, first base. David VR, the next giant to hit. And he pumps it a strike. And he can't hang on. No throw, and he's on it first. Now back, right fielder, Luis. Luis Matos, the next giant to hit. Matos really thriving with the bat this season here at home. in there. Strike one. Ground ball up the middle. They take the first out. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. And this remains a 5-5 ball game. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Eric Miller. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season, so we'll see what kind of command he has. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. The first base is number five. Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. And that one clips the corner. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. One and there's a the ball. Two straight. Oh, 
misses. It's two and two. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Jason Hayward. Just inside, off the inside one. edge. Left-hand hitter waits. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Bases empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. And a good eye there. Next offer in there for a strike. And the count's even at two. One down, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Andy Pajes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's already homered in this game. Check swing, no appeal. Ball one, no strike. Ball and two. another ball. And yeah, that's outside. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's the automatic. That's the third. And it gets by him. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Stepping in, Gavin Lux. Hey. Late on that fastball. All one for the count. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, they can yeah. live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Two outs. Foul ball still 0-2. And Kicks and fires. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's the 0-2. Well. Good job to fight that one off. Here's a 1-2. Bows it back with two strikes. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Fights that one away, still one and two. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. Two balls. And another two ball. Him out. He battled 
for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player. But for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. The pitch wisely leading things off and takes a strike. And all these Giants, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. The shortstop takes the ball. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now back. So up next, Elliot Ramos. Elliot. Three for three with three singles. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. Up the middle. And that chance handled. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now back. Third base. Matt. Matt. Chapman. Now it's Matt Chapman, one for three. Swing and a ball popped up. Lux gets under it. And that is the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. We're all tied up, 5-5. Five, five. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number, number 74. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas. The pitch. And a curve misses outside. This one in the air. Makes the grab. And there's one away. That's such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Dave Roberts turning to his bench for a new bat. Will Smith looking to start something with one gone. And clips a corner. On one. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. Now one and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Taylor Rogers, the left hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Number 73, warming up as well. One down, base is empty. Hey. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Here's a 2 2. Makes the grab and there's two out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. On 
on the ground wisely. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly. Our score holds at five apiece. So remaining in the game defensively, Will Smith. He'll play third after coming into the game as a pinch hitter. Patrick Bailey now at the plate. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Strike one. Really good athlete. And many times you talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well. Really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Lifted in the air, out to left. Makes the grab, one down. So now here's the DH, Jorge Soler. Over three with three strikeouts. And fouled off. one down outside corner there's a strike a little frustrated with the strike zone yeah one that ball. skips in there and the pitch got him two out so two down oh, now that's and that's here is Tyro Estrada Tyro there's a strike pretty rare location right there right down the middle this guy paints the edges I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter righty to the plate way outside and the count is one and one And strike two. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Nope, Off the mark the there. And the count is even, two and two. Two down, nobody on. Here, are the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Barnes down to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. It's the ninth, and we are tied. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Chris Taylor. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with a breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. And now Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. 0-1. That 
Next pitch is outside. One down, base is empty. And that's down and away. Out of line, out towards center. Banks off the wall. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Go ahead, run on base. Freddie Freeman, the next to hit. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. The pitch. Goes down looking. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Jason Hayward will hit next. Hard hit, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, due up in inning number nine. We're all tied up, 5-5. Five, five. Bottom of the ninth, and now it's going to be Michael Conforto. No left field. Michael Conforto. Otani back to work. This one chopped to the ground, but foul. The other way. Base hit into the outfield. And now the winning run is on base. Always feels amazing getting the job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Pitch hitter coming on, Austin Slater. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. Later. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. And here's the pinch runner, Nick Ahmed. That one not close. And that is ball one. With the winning run on at first. Here in the last half of inning number nine. That missed by a lot. Now 2-0. Oh. Strike one. Two balls, one strike. Big swing and a miss. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. One out. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect the way and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Matos in the box now. Take strike one.
And the righty deals. Right down the shoot. 0 and 2. One down, winning run on to first. Big swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. The one two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Right handed reliever. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch stays alive. One down, winning run at first. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner off, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brett Wisely. That one, one missed. <laughs> this one rip, but foul to the right. Trying to send this extra innings. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Barnes to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. So the Giants leave one. This ball game still tied five all. Staying in the game on defense, Austin Slater. He pitch hit last half and now takes over at first. Also into the ball game, Nick Ahmed. And man, they're asking a lot of him to play completely out of position. New arm for the Giants, number 73. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajas. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Here comes a pinch. Just oh, missed. there and the count is two and two and that one finds its way through throw quickly into third they're at the corners now to start the inning so they hold the runner at third wanting to play it safe you think that comes back to bite him boy it's hard to say that runner on second to start extras is critical and you want to make sure you don't waste him they don't score this inning. There'll be some second guessing for sure. So runners at the corners. Nobody out. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. Inside almost got him. Headed towards the corner. 
Ahmed has a beat on it. Drops into the glove. Run attacks for home. The throws offline. He's saved. And they've got the lead in extra innings. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Run around the move. Fall off foul. Righty delivers. At the ball. One run across in the frame so far here in extra innings. Next offered in there for a strike. One, One and two. two And another ball. The pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. But Bill showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there. Not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. batter now will be Will Smith. Nope. That's down and in. And the 1-0. Breaks his bat and pops it up. And that is that. So one run on one hit. No errors and a runner left. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Dodgers 6 and the Giants 5. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Evan Phillips. Now, I think the closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap it. Well, one run game, and now the center fielder, Elliot Ramos. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, right. guys are not sacrificing as much just to get oh, that one, runner yeah. across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Next yeah, offering ball, way upstairs. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so Whoa, hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. And that one fouled off. And another ball. So the tying run at second keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. One gone here. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And it kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that... You know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Chapman, nope, the next, next to hit, takes low for a ball. No one out. Squirts away a little bit. Tag, save. He's in the third of the wild pitch. 
Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. The tying run is 90 feet away. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable oh, of going good. out there and doing damage with it. Patrick Bailey waits the bat for the Giants. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Three and two now. Ground ball to go. That's a base hit. In comes the runner from third. It's six six. And the winning run is aboard. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Tied at six. Here's the catcher, Patrick Bailey. Not no one, close no with that one, and that's ball one. Move to first. Chapman gets back easily. One down, winning run on first. And there's a ball. Two of them. And fouled off. Two one now. Go to lay out that pitch down. Jorge Soler getting on deck circle. And he deals. And the pitch is in for a strike. And the count is filled up. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Slides, but it gets by him. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. First and second, one out. Jorge Soler, hey. the next giant to hit. That one's in there. And that's strike one. Winning run at second with one away. And we're in the last half of the 10. Maybe a two ball. Five. The throw to second is off the line. Oh, now now that second baseman, Tyro Estrada. And up next for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And now everybody's running. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Got him swinging. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. Right through there for a strike. 0 oh 1.
two outs. Ball one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We push on to the 11th, and we're all even at six apiece. Back here at Oracle Park, 11th inning set to get underway, and now Austin Barnes. The pitch. In the air at the knees for a strike. All one's the count. That one finds the zone, and it's nothing in two. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. At the belt and fires. That's off the mark. One and two to count. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here comes Chris Taylor. A strikeout and a walk. Swing and a miss. And that is strike oh, one. one. Next yep, offering is outside. Out. Time to first. Taylor is out. Up next, the left Tied at six. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. There's a strike. Oh, one for count. Down the That's line, and it's foul. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position, and we're here at the top half of the 11. And he's swinging it in. And it's a three up, three down inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Alex Vesia. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Austin Slater stands in. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. And it's second. It's the outside corner with that one. In the air, right side of the infield. He's under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Up next, next John. John. The right field. Louis Matos. And up next for the Giants, Luis Matos. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on 
have the force at second first, perhaps getting inning ending double play. Missed Whoa, with a changeup. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Anthony Bonda up and loosening in the pen. The winning run on second base. Right through there for a strike. Pitch misses there. Two and one. And now the lefty almost got him. And the pitch. Ball four. He walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much dipped it in first base with a quick free pass. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here is Brett Wisely. And that's in for a strike. Power relievers, one after another, come out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. That's way outside. Yeah, the count one and two. Winning run stands at second. Two ball. This one in the dirt. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So first and second with two outs. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. It's a good spot to be in. With runners on first and second, you know the pitcher is going to come after you. That's a little bit low. Last thing he wants to do is nibble, load up the bases, and then walk in the winning run or throw it to the backstop and bring in that winning run. Wouldn't chase that time. In the air on the infield. Breaks it in for the third out. So they strand a pair. 11 innings in the books now. And we're all even at six apiece. Back now, and we're in extras. A new arm on the mound here in the top half of the inning. Taylor Rogers. And they thought it was time to bring on a left-handed relief. Go ahead, run on base. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And here it comes. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Man at second. Ball oh. one there. Swing and he held up. And a strike on the outside edge. And another ball. Jason Hayward up next for the Dodgers. And a 3-2. Fights it off. He'll see another. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. Down on strikes, and there's one away here in the 12th. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Tied at six. 
And up next for Los Angeles, Jason Hayward. There's a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And Reaping Bowl is in for a strike and quickly it is nothing in two. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Tyler Rogers getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Owen oh 2 now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One out. The go-ahead run is in second. Here deep into extra innings. The pitch. That's out. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. And now two and two. That's a great take. Tried to get him a chase just outside the zone, but he wouldn't offer. Next pitch downstairs. Full count three and two. Andy Pajas up next. With the go-ahead run standing at second, and we're deep into extras. Struck him out looking. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Here's the center fielder, Andy Pajas. Down the middle for a strike, and it's 0-1. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. Next offer in there for a strike. And that's strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Man on second, two down. And down on strikes he goes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in extras. And a new pitcher on the mound at the bottom half of the inning. Anthony Bonda. Well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. 3-4-5 due up for the home team. Now the third baseman, Matt Chapman. The pitch. This to third. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. The switch hitter batting right. Late on that fastball. Oh, this guy's one. usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. You'll want. Right side, Lux. Throws the first in time. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, but now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at-bat. And now it's the Giants' DH, Jorge Soler. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. That's in there. It's 0-1. 0-1's the count. Winning run at third, two down.
Fast ball for a strike. Ola Tuna. Kicks and deals. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. And a ground ball to first. Across is the winning run. And the Giants win it in 12. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. One-run game here today. Your final score, 7-6. to six. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.